So today I'm going to show you how to make a traditional bread and butter pudding. Uh, it's a great time of year for making this kind of dessert because you can use up dried fruit that you might have been using in your Christmas cakes and it's just such a hearty uh, comfort, comfort dessert at this time of year when it's, when it's cold and, and uh, wet outside. So the first thing I've done is I've buttered six slices of uh, white bread but you can use whatever bread you want and also it's a great way of using up bread that might be left over from something. Uh, so just butter that, cut it into triangles and just leave it there for the moment. The next thing I'm going to do is prepare the fruit. So in here I have, uh, I used raisins and currants which were left over from making my Christmas cake and um, it's a great way of using that up. In here, in this little pan, I have cardamom pods which I uh, heated up on the pan. So you heat, you, you heat them up until they start popping on the pan. So they're the little um, carbon pods and the, the seeds come out like that. Okay, so I've done that. Uh, I'm gonna put them in here to the pestle and water and give them a nice crunch. So this just adds a nice richness and flavor to your fruit. So I'm gonna pop that in to the fruit. Get all the little bits. And I'm also going to add about a half teaspoon of cinnamon. And give that a mix. Mmm, smells yummy. So now I'm just going to assemble the bread and butter pudding. So you just use a, a you know a baking dish but this deep grease it with butter and start layering the um, bread in so you put layers and you can be quite generous with the butter because you want to give it a nice flavour and then a layer of fruit and then you just continue doing that until Bread, all the bread and fruit is uh, used. Okay, so now I'm going to make the custard that goes over uh, the bread and the fruit. So in here I've uh, two eggs, uh, about two tablespoons of sugar, just keep the rest, reserve the rest for later, and there's a tablespoon of corn flour was in there. And you just whisk that together until it's nice and frothy. And then over on the, the stove, I have about, there's about 350 mils of milk and 50 mils of double cream. And I've just brought that to not quite boiling point, just kind of uh, just under the, the boiling point, okay? So I think that's just about ready. Yeah, I think that's good. So I'm going to pour that into the jar, it just makes it easier. Okay. Now, that will go to this mixture and you're gently whisking the hot liquid into the, the eggs. So just do it nice and slowly because you do not want your eggs to scramble. So there you go. That's nice. nice. So I'll tell you, bread and butter pudding used to be known as poor man's pudding or it was in the 11th century, it was called a frugal dish, but I'll tell you, when you, once you taste this, there's nothing frugal about it because it's delicious. So you keep adding, adding, adding. So then I'm just going to pour it back into this because it's easier for pouring over this. So you pour that mixture over your fruit and bread. Mm. 
and we'll finish it off with the, the remainder of the sugar, just sprinkle that over. And we'll just use a little bit of nutmeg. Just a sprinkle. Mm. It already smells delish. So you leave that actually for half an hour before putting it in the oven so that it's uh, you let everything soak up and it's going to be delish. Uh, leave for half an hour, then it goes into uh, the oven at um, uh, three, uh, 180 degrees um, for 40 minutes until it's nice and crispy. So I'll come back to you when it's all done. Okay, so I think this bread and butter pudding is pretty much ready yeah that looks mm, mm, mm. The, the custard is nice and set and it's nice and crispy on top uh, so I think that's good to go um, I did reduce the oven temperature probably 180 is a little bit high so just be careful um, maybe put in a lower oven uh, maybe 170 uh, because it can burn quite easily so it can be served I'm gonna cook just so you can see. Mm -hmm. uh, so serve it warm. Uh, either with your choice ice cream, pouring green, if you want to be a little bit more indulgent, or if you want to keep it less indulgent, maybe Greek style yogurt would be lovely too. So I'm just going to have a little taste. Do you hear that crispiness? Mm -hmm. Mm. Now, that is delish. You have to try it, folks. Perfect comfort food after a nice roast dinner. Perfect.